Hey guys, I'm Dave Smith, the founder of Repeller. This is a quick installation guide to retrofit it to your surfboard. Getting the housing, mark the area where it's best suited in the flattest part of the board. Mark a line around where the housing is. Make sure you grind off all the fiberglass, exposing the core or the foam blank. Once you've sanded it, get the template supplied by Repeller. Mark the best position for the housing. Tape the, ha tape the template to the board. Then get the router with the one pass future cutter. Making sure the bearing supplied by Repeller is between the one piece cutter and the router. Then router the hole, making sure that you clear all the debris and foam from the hole for the housing to fit in. Make sure the housing is sitting flush with the base of the board. Measuring 900 mils forward of the housing, mark the hole for the front plug. And then drill to suit. Clearing all the debris, making sure you've got a depth of 15 millimeters. For this part of the installation we're going to use a bit of hardened 3mm spring steel wire to feed the cable through the board. Using a flat blade screwdriver, disassemble the front plug. Slowly and carefully feed the metal rod through the board until it reaches the housing. Once the wire has come through to the housing, attach at least one metre of braided fishing line to the end of the hook and then also attach the eye of the repeller cable to the braided fishing line and then pull it back through the board to the front plug. When you're drawing the cable through, make sure you do it very slowly and don't yank the cable to minimise the chance of breaking the draw wire. Once you've got the cable through, you can reassemble the front plug. Using either epoxy or polyester resin, pour around the flange, allowing enough mixed with Q-cell to create a bed around the flange placing the housing in the recess, then putting a plastic film over the top and then putting a weight to make sure that it sits flush with the base of the board. Repeating the same process for the front plug, remove the plug, then pouring either epoxy or polyester resin into the board wind any extra cable around the plug make sure you cover the front plug with a plastic film then putting a weight over the top making sure the front plug sits flush with the underside of the board using the glassing sticker provided make sure the 
the tab on the front of the sticker lines up with the tab on the front of the plug. Also, cutting a piece of four ounce cloth, one or two pieces, and then laminate over the top of the housing, making sure there's no air in the laminate. Repeating the process for the front plug, placing the glassing sticker over the front plug and then laminating with minimal one piece of four ounce glass. Once your laminating coat's all dry, sand down and make sure the sub fits in flush with the board. Repeating the same process, sanding the front plug down flush, then using the sticker provided, put it over the top of the plug. Now your board is ready to serve.